My name is Isil Khan and in this video we'll just learn how do we calculate steel required per gusset plates of truss, right? Remember I'll just do an example as I always do. Let's say we are asked to determine the required steel for all the gusset plates which are of course 1 cm thick. This is just the thickness of gusset plate, right? And the sketch is just given. And remember all dimensions are in centimeters, right? Like this one, uh, 7 over times 4 pi, these are just in centimeters, right? So to calculate the gusset plates uh, steel required, we have everything given, right? So I'll come directly into solution and remember I'll do the solution only in this table, right? The first column of this table represents the description, upper member, and then the number, length, breadth. This means just uh, the area when you multiply these both things, right? And the quantity will be just in palm of area that's in square meter uh, if the dimensions are given in FPS system you can calculate of course the area in square feet no problem right and why do exactly we calculate uh, the gusset plates in palm up area because uh, the thickness uh, is just a small value right so it's better to calculate in palm up area like we do the plaster work, right? You know, this is a plaster work. Then further, uh, if you have to calculate the weight of these gusset plates, no problem. Then you can, of course, calculate its volume and you can multiply the volume with the unit weight. So you can get, of course, uh, the weight of gusset plates, right? Now, let me just start uh, the step-by-step -step procedure of calculating the gusset player's area, right, in the same table. And I'll do just the calculation uh, separately for each gusset player. Like, uh, the first thing, let me calculate the player area which is uh, situated at the apex of this truss, right? You can see in the sketch, the size of this is just uh, 75 times 45 centimeter, right? And remember, this is only one gusset plate, right? So in the number, that's of course just a column in the table, you can see that, right? In the number, I can say the number of these gusset plate are just only one, right? And what's the dimension? That's 75 times 4 pi. So the length is just 75 centimeters or you can say 0 0.75 meters, right? That's it. And the breadth must be just uh, 45 centimeters or 0 0.45 meters, right? When you do the multiplication of these three guys, we can get, of course, the quantity, which is, of course, 0 0.3375 square meters, right? That's only just uh, for the plate, which is at the apex of the stress, right? Now further, let me calculate the area of plates which is at the show of the stress. You can see these things are only two in number, right? These are just at the slope of the stress. You can clearly see them, right? And their size is uh, 70 times 45 centimeters. So in the number column, you can say these are two, right? And its length is just 70 or 0 0.70 meters, right? And its breadth is again 45 centimeters or 0 0.45 meters, right? Just multiply these three things, we can get, of course, the quantity in palm of area that's 0 0.630 square meters, right? And next time, I'll calculate uh, the plate which is uh, at the suspender base. You can see it, right? This one just, this one just uh, right. Uh, the suspender is just the perpendicular at the middle, you can see it, right? And the dimensions are 25 times 30, right? And that's only one, right, in the number, okay? And the dimensions 25 times 30. Just multiply these three things, we can get, of course, uh, its quantity, right? Like this one. And then um, moving ahead, and uh, let me calculate the plate at uh, stressed base right we have of course two types were there right and the size are different no problem and let me calculate first time over this one right these are of course two okay so let me write it in this one like this one and the length and breadth are known just 35 times 25 right and in meters you can say 0 0.35 times 0 0.25 meters right so that's it just multiply these three things being get of course the quantity like 0 0.175 square meters okay and again we have another at stressed base 
just this one right these are both uh, just the same things so you can call them uh, it's just uh, one two no problem you can name them different uh, if you are expert it's uh, I mean there is no need to name them right so these are of course two and their size is known right 45 times 30 so its quantity must be when you multiply these three things 0 0.270 square meters right and again we have of course those two on the left okay which is of course at the head of stressed right and of course the same thing is happening over here we have two types right the one is 25 times 20 and the one is 70 times 25 right so let me do first time this one 25 times 20 that's the size right and these are of course two right one at the right and one at the left side of the trust okay so in the number we have two and its side is 25 times 20 right so if you do multiplication with these three things we can get of course its area just this one 0 0.10 square meters right and again the last thing uh, these are of course also two right and the size is 70 times 25 so we can get of course its quantity which is in square meters that's 0 0.350 now if you add all these things because we have nothing left we can get of course the total quantity which is 1.9375 square meters right so the total gusset plates area equals 1.9375 square meters now when we have the total quantity that's in palm of area of course we can calculate its weight right or their weight no problem or you can say the skill requires for these gusset plate and this must be just the volume times the unit weight right remember the volume is the area times the thickness and the area is known that one right we have done this guy a few seconds ago no problem okay so this one times the thickness uh, will make this guy as the volume right the thickness is known that's one centimeter or you can say 0 0.01 meters right and times the unit weight that's over here just a problem right this of course depends upon the type of steel right uh, you can say uh, the steel may be just a mild steel high carbon steel no problem different okay cast iron steel so the unit weight must be different for each type of steel right but mostly mild steel is used okay so no problem let me just uh, say uh, the gusset plates are just made of uh, the mild steel okay so i'll use the unit weight of mild steel i uh, just mention in specification that uh, the gusset plates are just uh, the cast iron right or uh, they are made of the cast iron then the quantity surveyor should plug uh, the unit weight for the cast iron okay here let me assume the gusset plates are made of mild steel so the, the unit weight or density of mild steel is just of course 7850 right that's just uh, the unit weight of mild steel right in kg per cubic meter right when you multiply these three things of course we can get the total weight equals 152.093 kg right so this is how we determine or calculate the steel required for the gusset plates of truss right and that's it and at the end i hope you like my video so thumbs up and subscribe to motivate me for making more videos right thank you dears for watching see you next time